I hire him here. Last couple of days I've been doing some tests on this capillary action stove. These are ones that it uses the capillary action to wick alcohol up into the jets. This was the first one I made and the difference between the two was on the first one I only had about a half an inch between the top of the jets and the bottom of the pot and it was suggested that I try the taller like one inch sweet spot distance and I got a much better time but I also got a comment or a suggestion rather from running from September where running suggested you should try your half inch gap stove with isopropyl I bet you'd get a pretty clean burn this is true uh, I'm not a big isopropyl user but it's handy to uh, have this because you can get this just about anywhere any drugstore or whatnot so this morning I got a new bottle of it because the stuff I have has been hanging around for a long time but anyway I'm not a big user of isopropyl because of the sooting action but there has been several people that have done stoves that uh, like flat cat gear they do short stoves which if you drag this distance down then it seems to burn pretty good so I'm gonna try running from September's idea and try isopropyl alcohol in here so let me get some water prepped I'll get some alcohol measured out and we'll be back for a quick test okay I've got my water set two cups setting at 60 degrees I have one fluid ounce of isopropyl alcohol 91 percent in the stove let's go to the other camera let's light this see how long it takes for the jets to come out now this is one of the things about isopropyl a very bright flame good for lighting up the area so that's lit here we go with our two cups of water start that now you can see it is let me move this over a little bit it has knocked down the flames that were all bright and yellow down to more of the bluer uh, bluer color so let's see where this goes sorry I thought I had this on the video on but I missed the two minute mark but here we are at a minute uh, 48 let's say temperatures up to 115 I think you can see the flames are still a bit yellow the pot is sooting up here on this side it was a clean pot to begin with so I'll have to check this and see just how much of this has been sooted up but uh, let's see where it goes from here there we have 210 211 come on 212 and 7 minutes 8 seconds Okay, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature is 73 degrees. Uh, it's cloudy and breezy out. Humidity is at 52%. And it came to a boil in 7 minutes 8 seconds. Let's see how long it takes for run out. Although, I think you can see the pot is getting really sooted up now. And it doesn't really look like it's about ready to run out. So, I was hoping that maybe it wouldn't soot up until like the last couple of seconds or something but apparently not anyway let's see how long this runs yet okay there we're going now remember the time is going to be either when the flames go out or the temperature drops down below 212 degrees Fahrenheit depending on which comes first sometimes you get a little bit of flames but not enough to keep it hot and then I, I even though the flames are burning I'll call that is out okay here we're going going gone at 1242 1242 okay so now we're back on the other camera so that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in seven minutes eight seconds let me see if I can get this off without getting all dirty when I used this the first time 
using methanol instead of isopropyl 91. Yeah, I think you can see quite a bit of sooting. Now it's not sooted here because that's where the stove was pushed up against, but the, <laughs> the rest of it is pretty sooted up. That's just the beast of isopropyl alcohol. It just soots up like that. You can always tell when somebody's been using let me turn this off. When somebody's using isopropyl alcohol in their stoves because the flames will be yellowish. You don't usually get a yellow flame unless there's something wrong, something contaminated. But usually you get like a blue flame with uh, methanol or denatured alcohol. But I see a lot of pictures on on eBay and everything like that where they, I guess to, so that the flames show up, they're all yellow, it's isopropyl. So the first time I used this with methanol, that was two cups of water, came to a boil in 6 minutes 41 seconds. When I went to the taller one, uh, 4 minutes 18 seconds from 60 degrees. Now with this one using isopropyl alcohol, 7 minutes 8 seconds to boil, and then it ran out at 12 minutes 42. So a pretty nice long run out time. While I was sitting here watching this, I was thinking maybe this piece can be made a little bit shorter so that there's even less than the half inch from the top of the jets to the bottom of the pot. You know, cut it a little bit shorter, bring this right up to the lip here and maybe cut it down to a quarter inch. See what that does for the people that like to use isopropyl alcohol. Again, I used 91% uh, running from September didn't specify which percentage he wanted. So if you got any suggestions about that, let me know. So I thank running from, running from September for the suggestion. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.